Hi, all signs, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind, my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. So, all the way from Aries to Pisces, I want to see what people who you're not in contact with right now, what they're doing. What are they thinking about you? All right. Aries being first. Let's see what your person is thinking about you. Nine of Pentacles. So this person feels like you all right. <laughs> you're doing fine without them. Hmm. This person may want to fight for you. Yeah. They look at you like being somebody that they definitely should fight for. They looked at you like somebody that was wifey. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But they feel like they need to take a break or wait and see what you're going to do. What's your next move they want to know? Yeah. This person feels like you've been doing something anyway. Yeah, the tower card. Or some shit may have came out about you. With this fucking um, page of pentacles, that's why this person is sitting here trying to figure out whether or not they should even reach out to you in the first place. Uh, okay, so now, moving forward. Taurus. Taurus. This is for the person that you're not in communication with right now. What is this person thinking about you? The full card could be in um, Aries. This person wants to take a new leap of faith. They want you. They want you. Hierophant, yeah. They want you back. Tell me more. They're heartbroken. Did you break somebody's fucking heart? Yeah, could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person definitely wants to come in and have a spark with you. I feel like this person wants to come in and maybe have sex with you. They may try to come in and act like, hey, I was just, you know, checking on you. No, that's not what they're doing. Three of Wands. They're afraid that you've given up on them. Mm-hmm. They coming in with some emotions, too. This person may be manipulative, so be careful, though. Yeah. Okay, Gemini, this is for the person who you are not in contact with. Let's see what the energy is for the person who you are not currently in contact with. Spirit, please tell me what is currently going on with Gemini's person who they're not in contact with. Could be a Taurus. This person's a bit heartbroken. Let's see why. Because they feel like you moved on from them. Finally. Yeah. This person is trying to stand their guard. It could be an Aries. Or a Cancer. This person is definitely trying to stand their guard. And act like they're unbothered. Like oh I'm not coming back. But they're going to message your ass. <laughs> they're going to message you very soon. What is this message going to consist of? Wanting to work things out with you. Because you are this person's source of happiness, okay? All right, for my cancers who are not in communication with someone, what does this person want to say to you? I love you, okay? This person loves you. One more. They watching you. <laughs> They're stressed about you. Huh. They may have had you blocked in the past. They've been unblocked you. They've been waiting for you to say something to them. Oh, shit. Two of Wands. This person was waiting for you. They unblocked you, and now they're waiting for you to message them. How the fuck are you supposed to know that you're unblocked? <laughs> 
Ace of Swords. Yep, this person waiting on some communication from you. Bottom of the deck, the star card. Could be an Aquar Aquarius. They want to heal the situation, but they want you to reach out to them. All right. Leo. What do I have for Leo? The person that they're not in current communication with. Page of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Everybody's purpose, pers the person that they're not speaking to tends to want to speak to them right now. So, could be a Taurus. This person definitely wants to speak to you. Let's see if they're going to take any steps to do so. Four of Swords in reverse. I see them coming out. Yeah, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. This person definitely is going to wind up reaching out to you. There's a strong connection between you two. This person feels like something they broke your heart or they feel like uh, you're broken. I mean, you broke their heart. Could have been due to a third party. Yeah, somebody from somebody's past interfered. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck here? The strength card. It's you who is going to be holding back at this point. All right, Virgo. Virgo, what is the energy that you or a person that you're not in communication with has towards you? What's going on with Virgo's person that they're not in communication with? How do they currently feel about Virgo, spirit? One flipper, please. How does this person that's not talking to Virgo currently feel? Ten of Cups. This person may be in another relationship. Three of Cups. It could have been the third party that they may have ended things with you to be with. Tell me how this person is feeling about Virgo. The Page of Wands, but they still want to talk to you. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Three of Wands. This person feels like you turned your back on them. Seven of Swords, because they were cheating and lying and deceiving you. Yeah, they know you're, you're staying clear from this because you wanted something stable. This person didn't offer that to you. They think about you though. Happy with her at though. All right, Libra. Libra. What is the energy for Libras? Oh, energy for Libras. What's going on with the person that Libra is currently not talking to? Five of Swords. You guys are playing mind games, trying to manipulate each other. So this quietness that's going on between you two is on purpose. Yeah, the Justice card. One of you, I feel like it may be you, may be manipulating this person by not speaking or not reaching out. Yeah, page of cuts, because you want to. But I'm, I'm almost feeling like you're like, I wish the fuck I would. Yeah, judgment card is here. Sorry, guys, some of my cards are in reverse. It's like this person better come towards you. Or you may be wanting to reach out to this person, but you are kind of indecisive about it, trying to make up your mind about it. Ace of Cups, because you do love this person. You're watching them too. You're in your head a little bit. Maybe you feel like this person is a liar. Could be an Aquarius. You definitely want to heal the situation with this individual though. All right, moving forward. Scorpio. What is the energy for Scorpio? Seven of Pentacles. What are you waiting on? This person is waiting. Whoever it is that you're not in communication with, this person is waiting. <laughs> Maybe for you. They're waiting for you to come and make them an offer. This person has one hell of an ego. They feel like you're supposed to come to them. They're very passionate about you, too. But I feel like both of y'all got y'all poker faces on right now. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is not going to make you an offer. You're going to have to make one to them. So if you don't reach out to them, you probably won't hear from them right now. Yeah. 
<sighs> it's bad. This person is a ball of fucking emotions, man. But they let their ego, their ego is way bigger than their emotions. Please believe me when I tell you. Especially if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But they feel left out in the cold from you. This person definitely wants to reach in. But when they, if they do reach out to you, they're going to curse you the fuck out. Okay. All right. So, Sagittarius. For the person that Sagittarius is dealing with, who they are not in communication with, what is the energy for this person? Ace of Swords. So, give me one more for the Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. This person feels like you got the clarity that you needed to move on. They feel like you're going towards a new beginning. This is a big change for them. Maybe you've never acted like this. Maybe it's never been this much distance. Maybe they just feel like this time you're serious about leaving their ass. Ace of Cups in reverse. All the fucking aces are here. Ace of Cups is in reverse. Why? This is something big for y'all. Four of Cups in reverse. So this person is trying to get over you because they feel like you're going to reject them if they try to come back towards you anyway. However, they still get yeah, the Tower card. You guys had something fucked up happen to you. Ten of Cups. This person still wants to be with you. Knight of Wands, but this person may already be in something too. They want you, they want them. They want them, they want you. I don't see them reaching out. They're too pussy. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what I have for Capricorn. Spirit, what is the energy for Capricorns? The person that Capricorn is not talking to. What is the energy? What is that person thinking about them right now? Page of Cups, they feel like they owe you an apology. They want to come in and apologize. Huh. But they're not going to apologize unless you come back. Yeah, this person's waiting on you to come back to them. They're holding back. Could be a Leo. Why are they holding back? Three of Swords. Because they know that they broke your heart. And they feel like you may be done. But if you were to reach out or you were to want them or need them again, they'd be on your ass like right on rice. All right. Aquarius. What is the energy for Aquarius? Let's talk about this person that Aquarius is not in communication with. What are they currently thinking about Aquarius? You feel like you're being stubborn. This person feels like you're focusing on yourself. You're not really trying to give in to them. You're being really cold, detached, doing what's best for you. They want to mess with you. For what? Because they can't stop thinking about you. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. This person sees you as somebody very abundant independent they have a very strong connection towards you they like you because you're independent they love you because you don't need them with the higher five this person wants to propose to you or commit to you three of swords but they feel like you don't want them anymore this person is their heartbroken baby All right, Pisces. Let's see what I have for Pisces. Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? What is the energy for Pisces? What does Pisces person that they're not in communication with want to say to them? Tell me what Pisces person that they're not in communication with wants to say or how do they feel? They want a new beginning. This person wants to rush in and tell you something. They feel like this is the perfect time to do so. This person may want to apologize for walking away from you. 
but they feel like they didn't have no choice because you were being a bitch or an asshole about certain situations here because they know that you love them. Maybe they weren't opening up. It could have been a cancer. Yeah, this person still wants a, a commitment with you. They also feel like you still want a commitment with them, but they feel like you guys have to get back on the same page, you guys. All right. Thank you.